Ooh, back again. Night version of things. Night vision against street view. Massaging seats. It is Christmas time. I don't know what you, what y'all think you can see better on the the night vision or in person on the street. Well, I know the camera might not be getting the justice or getting the right point anyway, but let's see what I don't know. I mean, in person, it almost looked like the night vision is a distraction, but I don't know. I just like the fact that it's here. And that you could look at it, and when people roll up on the side of you, they go, Did you put that in there? Or do it come like that? Well, I mean, they don't say that out the window if the window's up or down, but they think it in the head for some of the people that just don't know what's going on. Car is really cold right now. I don't know. No, camera, you can't. Well, you can see a little bit of the smoke. But night vision assist and just to flip it on and off it's literally a switch right here it's a switch it's a, look at the button it's just this is not even a on this car this is just a projector right here this is not even the real casting thing so you could drive with the car like this but or if you flip it up you'll get to the next screen with the vision feature that i like is that the gauge is down there to see how fast you're going and you can flip it back anytime you don't have to be stopped like right now we're we're driving so i can just flip it back up like that and the speed just goes automatically from there flip it right back up and you back to the night vision assist so that's like one of the best features they say you know with the night vision it can read up pretty far and you can see things pretty far ahead oh this car just feel like it's glide so smooth actually when i got this car from the dealership they said it was actually one car that felt more smoother than this one that's, you know, in the price range. They says a Bentley Continental. Don't get mad, people. I know if you are a BMW fan, you know, they said they feel more rougher. But the CLCC3 feels rough, too. Because uh, it's mostly for racing. Even the M6. So, that's just what they told me. It's just one car that's actually softer than this one, like, suspension-wise. And that's the, the Bentley. So as you know, got the gauge right there. And this is normal. This is actually normal. See where the, the temperature range is? If you get a car and you think it's running hot, like a little above 80 is the normal temperature for this car. Like at first I even thought it was like running too hot, but you know the red is well past over 100, but it runs between like the 80 and the 100 mark, just normally. I'm trying to see if you guys can see the night. This is a real dark area. There's no street lights, as you can see. But in person, I mean, you can see because the headlights, but just the camera doesn't look like you know it's getting it that much. So you can actually see the speed limit from here. And they actually say on the newer ones, they're even better. Like they'll have, if a person walk across the street, the infrared beam will come on and you'll actually see an outline of the person like walking across the street. And then the new S Coupe is even better. Like if you're going, you can go look up some videos, I'm not lying. Like if you go in, the car will break itself and won't hit the person. They have videos on there. The new ones are just like way past technology. But to be a 2008, this one is way past technology too. Just think about it, this is a 2008. If we think of the times now, what car really have all this stuff? I know, well yeah, it's a different price range on this car, but think about what had this stuff. Like just a flip of the switch, literally right here. And it go, it's a projector, it's not even the actual. And if you go to trip, you can see, you know, from start, how long you've been running the car, what you're getting to the miles per gallon since the restart in my range. And you could drive the car like this with any of these on. And like I said, if you looked at my other video, I don't like driving the car and be like, damn, I'm putting a lot of miles on the car. So what I do if it's daytime, I just go to the Navi and leave it there. But you know, you could drive with the speed. You can, you can drive like this. Just a little power, you know. And to be a real big car, this car can get moving pretty fast. 
So just to demonstrate the night view for you guys, I'll try to do it again, you know, in a, a more lit area, but, or if we can see it better, but regular view, night view. And so the night view assist video, hope this helped you guys, you know, I heard that some of these cars don't have the night vision assist. So ask for, you want premium one and two package on the CL550. And just like one of my people in the comments, he said the 600 come with the, the extra package with the best interior. The Designo, the Xino, whatever you call it, that's how you know it's luxury. I can't even pronounce it, that's how luxury it is. But yeah, that interior is like a two-tone stitched, yeah, it's, it's just nice. But I'm signing off, you know, if you guys want more videos, like and subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comments what you guys want to see and I'll bring to you more, more videos. All right, signing off.